What's up VC, this is Brad from H2 Vinyl in a different spot in the house. Right behind me is my record collection. There is the couch that I normally sit in with it angled with the record collection in the background. But I'm standing in front of my collection to do a contest entry for congratulating Mazzy on hitting that 50th mole. Way to go, man. Mazzy, I'm new to your channel, uh, probably a couple months now. Um, haven't really had a chance to comment on very many of your videos. Um, just last year got crazy towards the end of it. Um, trying to do better for 2020. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really appreciate the expansiveness of your collection and your knowledge of your collection and music in general. And then I also like hearing your stories um, on, on, you go to a lot of concerts, which is really cool. <laughs> and I love hearing about that stuff. Uh, but then also the just general knowledge that you know uh, about your collection and everything. So, um, yeah, I've, I'm nervous <laughs> because I don't feel like I know my collection um, like I should. Um, but let's get into it. Without looking, I'm going to pick five albums from this collection. Let me double check to make sure all of these are reset. I don't want to have any hints whatsoever. All right. We're good. Cool. All right. So up above, okay, I separate my, um, my collection by genre. So up above is electronic. Over here, I think, yeah, right here, is soul. Over here is blues. Over here is jazz. Down below that, I have trip hop and then hip hop on these sides. And then rock below that. And then I have soundtracks down the corner. Want to try and pull one, not from every genre because you're only wanting five, but let's pull from different genres. Sounds good? Cool. I'm going to try and stay away from this area here because I know that's Chemical Brothers. So let's go over here. Oh, wow. Albums seem longer than... Okay. I pulled two. <laughs> let's pull that bot, put that bottom one down, shall we? All right. What was it? Oh, it was Beats International. Okay. Um, this is Bluefish. Bluefish one. Um, one thing I, I need to say about the electronic is I bought most of it in a bulk buy. A bulk buy in 2015 of 500 records. I think I paid 100 bucks for it. Um, met a guy. who basically did a a um, Craigslist search in March or sorry April, and this is after buying, you know, another 500 um, bulk buy, 500 record bulk buy in March, because, you know, like, what could possibly go wrong? Um, anyway, found this guy who was selling 500 techno 12-inch singles. Uh, he was in it close to the area. I was on my lunch break at work. Um, I work at Summit, Ch Summit Church here in Orlando, Florida. And... Um, Met up with him at uh, the mall right next door um, and uh, in the, the parking garage. Uh, looked through a lot of the stuff. Didn't know most of it, but, uh, you know, I found a Fat Boy Slim album. <laughs> okay. That Fat Boy Slim album was original. It actually was worth quite a bit. Um, it was probably 50 or 60 bucks, and I got it for 100 Way to go. Plus 499 other things. <laughs> anyway... Back to this. Uh, this is where I got that. Um, and this is Sasha. Uh, even though it's Bluefish, um, Sasha has featured a lot of different artists. And this was on one of his uh, uh, Global Underground. Um, this one was called uh, Ibiza. Um, I really like Sasha as an artist. Um, this, I know this stood out to me uh, when I first heard it or when I first saw it, and uh, I was like, ooh, Sasha, really like Sasha. 
Sasha has a really great Involver series. Involver 1 and 2 are phenomenal. He's a great techno artist, really knows how to blend a lot of different kind of genres. He's worked with Grand National. Um, he's worked with Uncle. He's worked with... I say a lot of artists and only two come up to come into mind, but uh, he has worked with a lot of artists, apparently Bluefish as well. So there you go. Three. Um, yeah, really. I know I like it because I put it in a MoFi sleeve. That's a really good indicator. All right. So there's number one. Let's do go blues. Go right behind me. Ugh. Robert Johnson, king of the Delta Blues singers, found this at Park Ave. Park Ave for 10 bucks. Park Ave for $12. I was really close. Um, big thing about this album for me, I've listened to it once. And I can listen to it in small portions because... I'm just not all that big of a fan of the, the music quality. Uh, what, recorded in the 20s, recorded in the 30s, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, the big one for me is I love the DJ, DJ, uh, sorry, uh, Mixmaster Mike. And he samples this on the Scratch documentary he puts it to kind of a hip hop beat and that movie came out in 2001, 2002. And ever since he, he, you know, he scratched one of the songs. Uh, what was it? It was, um, I got me, babe. I got me, babe. Uh, rambling on my mind. That's it. Um, and he scratched it over a hip hop beat. And then at the end, he said, that's Robert Johnson, the Delta Blues. Ever since I've been looking for this. And I found it. Um, yeah, so pretty cool to have. All right, uh, hip hop. Let's just grab one. All right. <laughs> I just... I just bought this. <laughs> I bought this last month. This is Kid and Play, Face of the Nation. Uh, their 1991 album. Yeah, 91. Um, boy, those things are getting smaller and smaller. I hope that's not cheating, the, these, these little um, cheat labels. Anyway, um, I've been listening to this album for almost 20 years. Over 20 years, almost 30 years. Jeez, I can't, I can't add on camera. Almost 30 years. Um, the pressing quality of this isn't all the greatest. Um, it's a very quiet album. Um, and I don't mean that it's uh, the, the background noise is quiet. No, I mean the music is quiet. It's not pressed very well. Um, I would love them to have a proper well done repressing or reissue of this. Um, not a huge, lot of hits on this, but man, oh man, do Kid and Play do a great job of jazz fusion um, in hip hop. And it's such, such a good album. I remember the story I have, uh, I played trumpet uh, in high school. 91, I was a pretty much a freshman slash sophomore. I got this album and during pep band, uh, well, I, I don't care anything about sports, so I'm not paying attention to the play, you know, playing of sports at all at ba basketball games. And so here I am listening to this album in cassette form in my Walkman and there's a jazz solo. I don't even know where that jazz solo came from. Someday I'll look it up. Um, but I, heard it and I tried playing it. And then I remember, I think I gave, I gave my earbud thinking of this now, it's just completely unsanitary. Um, gave my earbud to another fellow trumpet player. And he was like, Oh yeah, I really like that sound. 
Um, but, so I was trying to play that as quietly as possible, of course. And then my band director was like, you be quiet. So yeah, uh, Face the Nation. Really, really great, great album by Kid and Play. I think it's their best work. Okay, so we covered, let's move over here, Trip Hop. Also have some turntablists in here as well. Oh. <laughs> Portishead. I love Portishead. Portishead. If you could fall in love with a band, like marry a band. I know that sounds weird, doesn't it? Um, it would be Portishead for me. Just the creepy, beautiful vocals of Beth. The hip-hop elements. This is their second album. Um, I, I'm hard-pressed to decide between their second album and their first album. In fact, I don't pick either of them as my favorite. I pick their live album, which to me is their third album, even though they have an album called Third. This is such a beautiful, beautiful album. Um, I just recently picked this one up. I didn't have a copy even in CD form. I think I just rip, ripped my friend's CD and just put it on my iPod. For the longest time, I have not had a copy of this, but just recently, sometime last year, bought this. Um, gosh. I was playing a video game in college. Here's the story, ready? Playing a video game in college. Um, I was in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. My end of my first semester was my junior year, but my first semester there or beginning of my second semester there. So, and so around Christmas time, New Year's, somewhere around there. Playing this video game, had a lot of techno in the background and this guy bursts in saying, that's the Chemical Brothers. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm just playing this video game. And uh, I've told the story so many times on my channel, but he's like, oh yeah, that's the Chemical Brothers. What? I'm like, what, the music? He's like, yes. Anyway, he show, he shared with me a lot of techno music that I had no idea about. He also shared this. The guy's name was Derek, Derek Carr. And I am forever grateful that he shared this with me because I love the fact that I've had this in my life for 25 years. I love this album. I love all of Portishead. Even the third one. Even the third one. All right, so that's number three. Let's go rock. Mountain. All right. Not my favorite by them. I don't even remember the name of that, that album, but it's purple. I purchased this when hanging out with Wes also known as Supra Wes, in Gainesville. Went to Gainesville for their record show in October of last year, 2019, and picked this up for a buck. All of that is correct. All of that information is correct. Um, like I said, don't know this very well. Kind of in bad shape. Uh, I know I like it. Uh, I just know that I like the other one album of Mountain, um, yeah, more, uh, 20 or 1970, it's kind of blues, hard rock, really great stuff. Had a great time with, um, with Wes that day, had barbecue, hit up a couple of record stores as well. Um, that was the second time that I met up with him. He, he came to Orlando in August of last year as well. Had a lot of great meetups last year. Oh my gosh. Billy Hurst, uh, Alex Spins Vinyl from the UK uh, visited us Visited us in February. Um, 
Steve Carlson in in June uh, visited in, you know in June um, almost went to see Eric Weinbender uh, while uh, going to a King's uh, King a King Gizzard concert um, that was in September but a hurricane ruined that one way to go hurricane I'm rambling that was what four yeah uh, let's go soundtrack. Mm. <laughs> Halo 2. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I love video game soundtracks and I pick them up whenever I can. There's a great, great channel on YouTube called, well, it used to be called the Reginald Program, but now it's TRP Anthony or Anthony TRP. He makes videos just vinyl rips and he's my go-to source for you know video game soundtracks and uh yeah i didn't learn about this one from him i already knew about this one and uh halo 2 while not my favorite halo game i love the halo franchise uh i own every one of them won't own the next one the last one well the last in the second trilogy because i'm not getting another xbox i'm I'm out of video games this costs enough money i have far too many hobbies this is my hobby right now (laughs) but i have a lot of great uh, memories of um, hanging out with friends uh, kicking their ass getting my ass kicked in land parties um but then also my biggest fun uh, my my most fun is actually challenging the actual game with a co-op player um that i love playing through the game the story um the the campaign there we go that's the word i was looking for the campaign with a friend and uh this is incredible soundtrack i really wish the first one maybe it is but i don't have it Really would love to have the second one or the first one on vinyl. And hey, why not? Why not all of them? So there you go. There's the fifth one. Mazzy, congratulations on, you know, just a great year. Um, I know you're not really, you know, celebrating subscribers, though you could. um, But uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying all of these videos, um, these video entries. Um, Like I said, I um, anticipate learning a lot from you uh, and learning more about you. Um, And likewise, I hope you do the same for me me too. Um, Maybe not so much in music, but maybe just about my life. (laughs) I don't know. Um, Hope you're doing well, friend. And uh, yeah, everyone, hope you're digging into your collection and enjoying listening to your vinyl. Talk to you later.